Hi everyone! Happy May! I can't believe it's May already. I'm looking at really pretty leaves starting on the trees outside my office. I love spring. So let's just jump right in. May is going to be Cat and Dog Month here at Shiny Happy World. And so the first thing I need to do is show you the May Ami Club pattern, which is this guy. Oh, I love him. So this is Duke. I'm trying to get a whole Duke in the screen. There he goes. So Duke has nice little kind of boot-shaped feet and this fat, chubby tummy. He has a nice tail, nice waggy tail. He's got long arms so that they're long enough for him to pat his head and rub his tummy. And you can pose him. You can make him kind of cross his arms. You can do all kinds of cute things with him. And he's got a little tongue, which you could leave out if you don't uh, want to have the tongue, but I like dogs with their little tongues hanging out. And he's got these nice floppy ears. So the legs are crocheted together. The tail is crocheted in as you work. And so are the arms, and so is the tongue. The only thing you need to attach with a whip stitch is the ears, and I find this kind of flat attachment is the easiest one to do. So what makes Duke a little bit tricky is some of the shaping. So he's got his feet have some fancy shaping to make that boot shape. They actually start out with a foundation chain at the bottom, but there's a link to the video if that's new to you. There's a link to a video showing you how to work with that. And there's some, some fancy shaping to get this nice fat round tummy that's only on his front and not on his backside. So he's got a nice round chubby tummy. So it's not hard, it's still just regular increasing and decreasing, but you do have to pay attention to your counting for I think it's like six rows of kind of focused attention. So that, and then his face is actually shaped really similar to Pasha Panda from last month. So the face shaping is actually really easy to get that muzzle, snout, and his head. So that is Duke the dog. Hello, happy May. And I figured I would just show you some of the other things that I'm working on this month. So one of the things you can see in the background behind me, now that I have a design wall, you can kind of see some of the things that I'm actively working on. For my birthday last month, I bought myself this book called Making Faces in Fabric, and it's by Melissa Avarinos. She has this workshop that she does where she teaches people how to make faces in quilts really improvisationally. So you're not drawing this out first, you're just cutting shapes out of fabric and sticking them up there. And I really, really love to work that way. And I've wanted to take one of her workshops for a long time, but they have never been anywhere near me. And the one time I was going to be able to take it, I was too slow and I didn't get signed up in time. But now she has this book out. And so I bought it and started making faces right away. The first one I made is that purple haired girl behind me. And then my daughter and I had a face making fun time this last weekend. So I made the girl with the orange hair back there behind me and my daughter made the girl with the dark, the black and blue hair back there. So those are some things that I've been working on just for fun and they've been lots and lots of fun. Um, I'm also doing some improvisational piecing. These are, this is a placemat that I just finished. Um, I'm practicing some uh, different styles of improv piecing because I've got this barn door in my studio that I want to upholster. So this one was just kind of playing with stripes and I really like how it turned out. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna put it really close to the camera. I quilted it with big stitch quilting which I love doing. It really is like my number one favorite thing to do while I'm watching TV sometimes. So that is all big stitch quilted all over it. And now I'm working on a second placemat, which I've got hooped up here, so you're only going to be able to see part of it. But for this one, I did the same colors, the same fabrics, but in kind of a, a rough improv log cabin-y kind of shapes. So I'm working on the quilting on that right now. Get that in front there so you can see some of the quilting in the purple one there. So... Those are pretty much what I've been working on right now. I've got some fun stuff planned with cats and dogs this month, and we're going to have another craft along so that whether you quilt or make stuffed animals or crochet or embroider, we've got 
lots of opportunities for everybody to enter the craft along that's the general dogs and cats craft along and of course there's also going to be a duke crochet along and i can't wait to see all the different colors that you guys make duke and it would also be really easy to add some patches to him just crochet some flat blobby shapes you could even take the same shapes if you have the like the jackie the cow pattern um, just take those blobby spots or the, the, even the eye patches from Pasha from last month and you could add some eye patches to this guy. You could crochet his ears in different colors. You could give him a belly patch. You could do all kinds of cute stuff with him. So I can't wait to see what you guys all make. Have a great month.